What does the ECB policy look like from here until the year end? There's quite a lot of movement on the back of those comments, but, but actually, why would they rock the boat? Yeah, it's a bit of an outlier comment at the moment. Um, I think everybody will wait and see what Mario Draghi says when he next speaks. Uh, that'll be really the firmer indication. I still think they're probably going to taper through the end of the year as opposed to stopping in September. Uh, I think the move to adjust uh, from negative rates to zero is probably an early 2019 event. But I think there is an important message there, and that is, is that if we continue to see upside surprises to growth, and in particular, even despite euro strength, we see some move higher in core inflation, it's not entirely impossible to rule out both an earlier conclusion of tapering and yep. an earlier rate hike. So it is a bit of a warning signal and, and one with some substance. All right. So what does that mean for euro dollar? Well, I don't think it so far has really been the key driver of your dollar. I think we've reached these levels mostly on the basis of funds flows, mm -hmm. spe specifically equity flows. Okay. where the world is looking at Europe as well as other places like Japan and EM as a place to enjoy higher returns okay. based on the recovery and the recovery of profits. That's really what's driving the currency at the moment. Yeah. This might give it a bit more of a leg up, but I think it's really made the move for other reasons. So, so Mike, is there a, a level where actually a higher euro becomes problematic for the region's growth? I think there clearly is, but it's probably some way from here. I mean, you probably need to see another 10 percentage upside on euro dollar before it starts to cause real problems for exporters in the eurozone. And obviously, the other thing is you've got this key domestic growth story going on, which is independent of any euro strength. So you're seeing pretty strong rises. You've got consumer confidence, which is the highest it's been since 2001. That's a pretty good backdrop, no matter what happens for the eurozone. But I mean, I think part of the reason European equities were broadly f flat since May last year was because you had yeah. that euro strength. Obviously, it probably doesn't go that much higher from yeah. here. What do you expect Mario Draghi to say next Thursday? I actually think that you're unlikely to get many more comments along the lines of them finishing QE in September. And there's a good chance that QE lasts through to 2019. But the main thing, our view, is that it's not a given at all that once QE comes down to zero, that they're then straight on to raising rates. There could be quite some gap, we think, between the end of QE and rates actually going up.